this video, I would like to talk about the click function first sorted value. First sorted value exists as a script and as a chart function. In this video, we are talking about the script version of the function. The function returns the value of the column value, where the column sort weight has its lowest value. The rank argument can be used to get the second lowest, third lowest and so on value of the column sort weight. I think it's easiest to understand this function by examples. Imagine you have a table with two columns, product and unit price. This expression would return the product that has the lowest unit price. If we add an, a two for the rank, we get the product that has the second lowest unit price. If we want to get the maximum unit price, we would need to add a minus sign in front of the unit price. So this expression would return the product that has the second highest unit price. Let's have a look at some more coding examples. Now imagine we have a table of some sales of different customers, Albert, Berta and Claudia, who buy different products for different unit prices and different quantities. So first of all, we would like to get the first sorted value of product with respect to the unit price. So basically the cheapest product. Let's load this table. We have a look at the test table and the only value of the table is toothbrush. So the cheapest um, product with respect to the unit price is the toothbrush of 99 cents. In the second example, we get the second cheapest product. So the first sorted value uh, of product with respect to the unit price, but the second. So let's load the table again. Now it's the pen. The pen of $2.50 was the second cheapest product. Now let's do the most expensive product with respect to the unit price. And this is no surprise, we get the car of $20,000 as, as the most expensive product. Now we would like to get the second most expensive item. What do you expect the function will return? It returns null. Why does it return null this time? Because if we look at the table, um, there are actually two rows of $800. So the value we would like to sort by is not unique. That's why the function returns null. Even though the item that we are looking for is the same in both cases, it's a notebook. To overcome this, we need to set a distinct keyword in front of the product so that the function looks for all the distinct products and gets the second um, highest price of all the distinct products. So now it returns notebook. Let's try the same but with customers this time. So we would like to get the customer, the distinct customer that bought the second highest unit it is Berta. Why is it Berta and not Claudia? That is because of the loading order of the table. We see that Berta bought a notebook, but and also Claudia bought, bought a notebook of 800, but later in the table. If we would like to reverse the order of um, the loading of the table, we can achieve this by the order by a statement. So we like to reorder the table by customer ID in an descending uh, order. Now the function returns Claudia because of the reversed loading order. Quite often you will be in a situation where you want the highest or lowest value for each member of a group. For instance, if we would like to get the most expensive product each 
customer bought. Then we can achieve this by a group by statement. So we would like to return the customer and the most expensive product the customer bought grouped by all the customers. This is the result. So we get for every customer, Albert, Berta and Claudia, the most expensive item they each bought. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel. Cheers.